Mm. Hello. Another vid for my friend John down in Victoria. Mm. Um, suffering from COVID, caught at the Box Hill Record Collectors Fair. Oh dear, oh dear, how awful! Maybe, maybe you didn't catch it there, mate. But um, yes, yeah, so I was inspired to make a, a quickie. Um, I want to show my favourite label from the sixties, the Go label um, out of Victoria, out of Melbourne and uh, there was a show like Commotion which was a, a um, you know a mime show where Denise Drysdale and Ian Meldrum took turns miming to pop tunes there was something that was slightly better than that it's called the Go Show and I think it was I think the, the advertisers were Tarax when I was a teenager, we were all wild about Tarek soft drinks. They, they were so exotic. They came all the way from Victoria up to New South Wales. You know, this is back in the days when we had borders and had border crossings and you had to stop and make sure you had no fruit and things. You know, it was, it was quite a big deal to, to go into state. But um, this is uh, the Go label, which is probably my favourite of all the indie ones from the 60s. <clears throat> and in this case, it is Little Boy Sad MPD Limited. Um, <clears throat> MPD Limited are the most popular group in Australia today by virtue of their national hit successes, Little Boy Sad and Lonely Boy. Mike Brady, Peter Watson and Danny Finley are the members of MPD Limited. The group is quite unique in Australian show business because they are one of the very few three-piece groups on the pop scene. <coughs> they have been together as a unit for only a little more than six months, but during this time they have won outstanding popularity. MPD Limited have concert toured with top overseas names acts including the Dave Clark Five and they have appeared on every important pop music mu music show in Australia. Their Go records are now being released in overseas countries, including the United States of America and New Zealand. And the general feeling is international fame is just around the corner for MPD Limited. Cover photography by quarters, courtesy of Everybody's magazine. Well, I'll be showing an Everybody's uh, label record in the near future. Pressed by manufacturers of Astor radios, radiograms and television. Um, yeah. Mm. Now, Danny Findlay, the one at the bottom is Peter Watson. He's um, bass. Danny was the drums, and the tall guy up there is uh, Mike Brady, who's an Englishman. Um. The reason why I'm showing this is only because of mainly because of the Go label, and because I got this at a, the last record collectors fair, at, you know, um, John, because you went to a collectors fair recently. The last one I went to was at Parramatta Town Hall in uh, 2000. Or, yeah, it was 2000 because I still had my um, Volkswagen Type Three at the time, and. Um, so it was 2000. So I haven't been to a record fair in 23 years. And I still remember it like it was yesterday. Because I bought, this is one of the records I bought there that day. I got it for a very good price. <coughs> so yes, their hits were Little Boy Sad and Lonely Boy. I think one of them was written by Paul Anka. Um, but they make, these are like the versions of the songs in my opinion. Little Boy Sad. I can't read it. It doesn't matter. I thought it was... It doesn't matter. They were covers. Um, <clears throat> but they were 
it's a really really good real stomping stomping sort of stuff and to sort of finish up uh while we're on the subject of uh oh yes mike brady um of course they didn't go into the national fame um one of them died i don't know if it was this i don't know if it was this one or that one but one of them died quite young it was a bit sad and they sort of split up because there was a big controversy because one of them was uh, mucking around with an underage girl or something. So they, they, they came and went in six months, less than 12 months. But they really hit the top of the most of the popper most briefly down in Melbourne. Um, so Mike Brady up there, the Englishman. Um, I, I read his autobiography many years ago. It's a damn good read. I mean, he looks like butter wouldn't melt in his mouth. He's a severe alcoholic and, you know, he was a naughty boy. They're all naughty boys, but this guy doesn't look naughty, but <laughs> he, he was. But um, his claim to fame is writing a huge, huge hit in Australia called Up There Kazali, which is, is um, was the theme um, music for the uh, VFL in those days, or the AFL as it is today, um, Aussie Rules Football, which to the overseas people have never heard of it. It's basically soccer. It's like soccer, except instead of kicking the ball along the ground, they kick it to each other and and they sort of, they, they tackle, but they don't crash tackle, they, they hold. It's probably the greatest football game of all. And when I was living down in uh, Canberra for four or five years, that was the game on on the up the pub in the afternoons. I'd be watching the VFL or the AFL. I was a Carlton United fan, um, only because I like Carlton beer. But um, <clears throat> and the rugby league, uh, you know, uh, uh, which originated in Sydney, they came on like at eleven o'clock at night. So even though Canberra is sort of halfway between Sydney and Melbourne, you know, I got to really get back into um, VFL because when I was a kid my godmother's parents Pop and Nan Hadrill they were from Victoria and uh, I, I learnt to um, I to sit with Pop Hadrill he's a wonderful guy he's got a surrogate grandfather after my grandfather died my English grandfather Ernie Freeman Pop was like a, a, a surrogate grandpa to me and I used to sit and love sitting there and watching the VFL with him in those days on the old black and white set where the you know the images going up and down. You got to, but anyway, um, these are old um, uh, cigarette cards from um, the 1920s in Australia. Uh, these are Caspian Caspian Capstan cigarettes, South Melbourne Football Club, which became the Sydney Swans. Uh, Melbourne Football Club. Mm. I think that's the Cats, Geelong. That's why I'm wearing a Tiger hat, because Pop Adel's, um team was the Cats, the Tigers, uh, there. But the important thing was that song up there, Kazali, that's, um, that's him, that's Kazali. I think it's Ron. Ron Kazali. I think he, he wasn't killed in the Second World War, but he, he was fighting in the war. But he, he was a, 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 like a legendary um, football player, Australian football player. So up there, Kazali. So I thought I'd do that. And anyway, John, uh, yes, I just saw your message. And um, and uh, so if you see this, hopefully it will cheer you up a little bit. Okay, bye now. <laughs>